Hey everyone, Zef here and today I wanted to do an update on the absolute fuckery that's happening this week. The whole shenanigan started with the headset's arrival, well late one because I didn't get it on lunch day. Someone didn't feel like working at UPS and delivered it literally with no notice under my door, like for someone to just easily snatch it from the door and just go on their day. All in all, I got it the day after, kinda late, but it's... An addition to the family now. Is it worth the money? <laughs> Hard to tell still, like I'm gonna make a video on it, but it definitely needs more testing because the features it has, like I've not seen anything yet before. And there are many people that are doing impressions after like half an hour of trying it out. So I'm definitely not that person. I just need more time because it's definitely a cool piece of technology. It's just I've been dealing with other shit this week. Then the lunch day releases happened, like, you know, with the pass through, I expect to you die. The other stuff that fully uses the color pass through and just mixed reality in general. So far that has been a fail as well. Because remember on Quest 2, recording pass through is a bitch and not really possible unless you cast it to the PC through side quests or just anything that does not give you a black image output in the video. Um, that stopped working too. <laughs> Which is why to this day you've not seen a video on just anything now. <laughs> For some reason my desktop just does not compute with side quests nowadays and the one video that I made with Cubism before worked now it's just nothing at all. I'm gonna try it with my laptop, but there's a very slight hope it will actually pass. I should actually just screw that and record it normally with a black screen and just assets from the game because it's just ridiculous how even in the Quest Pro, this recording process is just so bad. And it's aiming at the business side of VR, which, spoiler alert, it's not at all. <laughs> well, we still have new releases on the store, like on Thursdays and just new games in general, right? Absolutely not. I can't buy anything at the store. I get a hilarious error that's saying it's blocking me from purchases for my own safety. I mean, they're not wrong, because at this point I'm just gonna kill someone from meta. It's quite frankly the worst period of the channel, by far, like in the history. I'm working with the support on it, but it's just like I was banned or something, or is it Destiny that's saying to me that I should just move on to the other platform and just screw that here? It's literally this meme of the person in the window and then everybody else is playing outside. Like it's just ridiculous what's going on. Thank God, thank God. I have stuff to record because I've been blocked on every site of content so far, but I still have updates and playthroughs to do which will appear on the new headset. Like I'm lucky to do this kind of videos because at, at this point I will be just dead in a ditch. Be patient with me, I'm trying to solve whatever is going on. It's taking my last brain cells to accomplish it, but then again, I've been through all stuff with this company. Yeah, I think. I'm not sure though. <laughs> so wrapping it up, headset is cool. The video will be somewhere, I don't know, two, three weeks. I need time, it's just that. Pass through is frozen for a moment. Overviews are frozen. I'm just gonna continue doing my usual things that I've been doing before. The situation sucks, but at the end of the day, I'm a survivor. I've been doing too long to <laughs> stop now. And if someone wants to create a riot against meta, feel free to join, because at this point, they deserve it. See you around, somewhere. <laughs>